Welcome to WSO2. Here's a quick video on how you can use WSO2 support portal in order to get support for your enterprise deployment. As your account manager created the WSO2 support account for your company, you can add an unlimited number of users into your support account. In order to add users to your support account, you need to inform your account manager the email addresses of the new users. Then, the account manager or WSO2 support managers will trigger an invitation email to those email addresses. If you are a new user added to the account, you will get an invitation email to your inbox like this. Then you need to click that link and it will redirect your web browser to the WSO2 Oxygen Tank web page. Once you are on that web page, you need to create an account with clicking on the Create New Account link. There you will be asked for basic information as in the following screen. Once you created the account, you can log in to the same site with those new credentials. It'll say the following. You are successfully added to the project. Please wait around 10 minutes before you log in to support portal. As mentioned in that message, it will take about 10 minutes for the entire synchronization process to sync this new account to WSO2 support portal which can be accessed with support.wso2.com. You can log in to the support portal with the previously created credentials. In order to create a new ticket in your support account, you can click on the Create button on the topmost bar of the web page. When creating the issue, as you can see on the screen you will get an option to select the project. Once you selected the project type, you can choose the issue type. In WSO2 support, there are multiple issue types, an incident, a query, an admin task and announcements. An incident is an issue that needs immediate attention as it affects an actively deployed system, such as a live production system, a system being prepared for production, or a pre-production system used for shared development, testing, or staging. You may raise an incident for any of the WSO2 products for which you have a current, valid subscription. Please note, incident types should only be used for runtime issues affecting your supported environment, and should not be used for any development issues. Only incidents affecting systems that are part of your subscription is supported. A query is a request for development support or general questions about the usage of any WSO2 product. Queries may concern a production or pre-production system or may arise from instances used for development or evaluation purposes. You will only be able to raise queries if unused development support hours are available. Development support hours can be purchased at any time during the subscription period. Admin tasks used to request, record administration, maintenance tasks, such as adding new users to the support account. Example 1, customer may create an admin task to add new users to the support account. Announcements are notifications issued by WSO2 for customers. It may be notifications on the release of security fixes. Once you have selected the correct issue type, you need to provide a summary of the ticket as the subject. Then you need to select the priority level for the ticket if it is an incident. After that, you need to provide a description of the ticket. Please make sure to provide a complete description for your ticket. It would be great and fast if you provide all the required information at the time you create the ticket. Example, what is the observation in your system? What are the steps you can follow to recreate the system? If there was any change made in the system? If yes, what were they? What are the WUM levels of the products and their versions? Does the issue occur frequently or intermittently? And any other information which you think may be valuable for the engineer to work on. If you have any log file or configuration file you can attach that too. After that, you can explain how this incident impacts your development, production environment. Example, business loss, deadline of delivery affected. Then you can specify the issue environment. Example, production, staging, UAT, QA, development. Then, click on the Create button. Once you created an incident, it will automatically trigger an alert to the WSO2 support engineers and they will respond within the given SLA. You can go through the document which you get with the invitation email in order to understand the issue life cycle and priority levels in detail. In case you need any other information, feel free to contact your account manager. We hope you will enjoy WSO2 support experience. Please share your thoughts, suggestions, feedback with WSO2 to improve your support experience with quarterly survey conducted by WSO2.